Uh, let's see, I'm echoing on some of these. I'm muted. Hello? Do you have your speaker on them? There you go, as long as you're your regular speakers on, you got to turn the volume down. Okay, a couple of things we wanted to do. I think we, we, the big thing last week we took site visits and to move forward with that. I want to also get an understanding of the conservation land, land rebutting all these different places. So I was talking to a few people on the team and I invited Ann Mays to join us. So she's joining us via the uh, screen. I have a few questions. Hey, Ann. Hey. I really understand all the abutting issues that we have because many times we have either reach field issues that we need to or sort of issues to be able to gather and to have things. I have questions around nature trails and passive recreation. What does that mean and how can we benefit from it? Uh, I have questions if we're landlocked somewhere. Conservation stuff, how we use it, and can we use it? Well, which to start with which fossil are you talking about? Well, actually, I'm looking at all four. If I look at the uh, did you say four? Hmm? Did you say four? Four. Who was I? Did I sleep through one? Yeah, you did. Actually, we talked after towards the end of the walkthrough. And that because of due diligence, you thought we needed to take a look at the patent of And more tried. Oh. It was oh. mentioned like. I guess, yeah, because it's a town property and it abuts this recently purchase or the purchase is going on of the conservation land right. next to it. So it's going to come up at some point. So the sooner it comes up and we talk it through, sure, the better. Yeah, so that's, that's where it came up. So like, I missed the meeting a couple, a few weeks ago when it was first brought up. So I'm sorry, I didn't bring it up no, earlier. But. I, th I think we need to do due diligence and take a look at all four of these. But if I were fan, if I walk through all the properties we're looking at, one being the current location, uh, there was a parking issue that we, we had an acre that was assigned, we thought, to the side of in the lot where the affordable housing is going in, and that'd be our parking lot. Plus, we'd need some acreage assigned to us for uh, an acreage allocation for the sewerage septic system. And then there's a well issue, I'm not sure where that would reside. It may, Live on the property for 62. And if I go up the street to North Avenue and uh, 16, that area, I think there's potentially some things there that behind us where there's conservation land, we may need that for leach field or storage or acreage associated with the water disbursement. And if we go out to the North Avenue and Oakdale Street, I believe there's some restrictions by trust size of building, and there could be conservation locked in the land that we keep on running into. So I want to understand where we're at because, and then the final one being the Morrison property. If we look at that one, the current access to that road, to that property is atrocious in my opinion. And we have the paddock property beside us. So what does that paddock property offer us? But is that all locked up as well? So with that, Ann, I was going to ask you to give us some insight about these properties and how we can work with you and still maintain our timeline and going to town meeting May of next year. And a build out following that meeting. I'll turn it over to you. To me? If you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm um, uh, so let, let's start with like 131 North Avenue. Um, that property does have a conservation restriction on it and it allows for a building, but there's a specific footprint size. Um, it was really for a barn because it was going to be used for agricultural. And so, I mean, it, you know, it's possible that you could put a senior center there, but you'd have to jump through a lot of hoops because to get to where it was now, um, we had to have like the full um, uh, legislature in Massachusetts vote for it. So you'd have to jump through a lot of hoops. So it's not ideal uh, with your timeline. Um, the other property, 8 Morrison Drive. No, hang on a second. Oh, go, ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
Oh, okay. Um, was there a question about 131 North Ave? Uh, not yet. Okay. Not sure. Um, but so on that property, there is a conservation restriction. Um, on 8 Morrison Drive, I mean, you have a, you'll have a lot of open space behind around you. So in terms of septic and water, that would be good. Um, yeah, I think it's a nice location. Uh, you'd be able to have trails right by the center. Um, the town owns it, so you know you don't have to um, buy land. There's no restrictions on that. Um, if we wanted to put a different access road into there, because fundamentally infrastructure is part of your purview, outside of making land, but infrastructure is part of your purview. The current access into that is substandard for any. I wouldn't let my mother move through there. So uh, we'd have to put lighting, we'd have to put street signs, we'd have to put curbs in. We'd have to do something. And I was actually thinking it should be an access from from paddock property. But then I looked at where we tried to enter there, a road. It's a little dangerous there. Yeah, how you'd have to come in. Dangerous intersection, because I come up that all the time. So I don't know. It looks like question. Jack. Phil, do you mind if I, I talk about Morrison? Um, you know, I think almost any access you have, you're going to have to have curbing, et cetera, on the entranceway. So that shouldn't be an issue. I don't see you, any other access to that property. I mean, maybe a couple feet here and there than what's there now. I know that property very, very well. And there is considerable wet toward Providence Street. Now, I th Anne is correct, uh, a septic was designed. It's obviously obsolete now, and so was a well. Actually, there's a well drilled there, and there's a structure. I don't know if you could use that. You might be able to. Others have asked about that. I don't think it's big enough, that part. Um, okay. Maybe you could expand on that and make it bigger, but then your parking, maybe you can share it with the fire department in their parking lot. I don't know. Things like that. But Ann is right. I mean, if you were there and you could fit everything in there you want, um, you'd have a beautiful open space in the backyard forever. And um, as far as accessing it from paddock that's very steep there that that's not really okay. um, and it's um, and, crossing. And, and i have to tell you and i i know alana i don't know if she's there i can't see you guys that well but um uh, no. ask me I, you know i'll do whatever you guys want like i told you any any decision you make i'll help you with everything i got but i just have a hard time visualizing a senior center in an industrial park. Mm -hmm. It seems to be counterintuitive to me. You want, I want a senior center in a more vibrant part of town that's easily ac accessible and also obviously gives you enough room, but that's just my personal and somewhat professional opinion. Yeah, I think professional to add to that, Jack. I think the visibility of it too. The fact yeah, that right, and you'll be isolated. The good news is the fire department's there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Are you looking at, I, I couldn't quite hear all the properties you were looking at. Are you looking at the property that the town owns on North Avenue and Route 16? Yes, the one at the top of Crossing Club. Yeah, I mean, that seems like it would be an ideal site. Um, you know, it's it, it would be easy to access. Um, it is, it's in the center of town. Um, I know that the select board was trying to um, have some commercial there. I mean, that possibly could be combined with the senior center. I'm not sure, but I don't know. So it seems like a good location there. Yeah, you certainly have enough room for a septic and a well. That's mm -hmm. for sure. 
Um, yeah. I mean, the current location you're in is really dangerous to access because people sometimes have to, you know, cross Providence Street. And then, you know, you know, the um, the physical limitations on that property. Yeah, and I think that's where I believe we have an extra acre, which was deemed by the select board, which was abutting the building, which we were going to deem as, in our early designs, that as a parking lot. So we wouldn't use the private property across the street. So we wouldn't have seniors crossing mm -hmm. the crossing the road, because that is dangerous. That's um, also a wet property next to you. Yeah, I, I think, yeah. Okay. Jack, any thoughts of possibility there? Since you've been dabbling, is there a little bit of room there? Uh, it's possibility where, Phil? I'm sorry. Current location, bad parking. Um, not with the conservation restriction and the use of uh, 52 for um, affordable housing. I, unless the DPW moved, I, I, you know, it's a it's a tight site with a lot of issues. Let me just say that. What what site is that? Is he talking about the current site? The current site. The current site. Well, that property next door, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. You would remember. It was presented to the town when we bought it. That would be definitely one of the selling points to the townspeople was that there was going to be some room there for sort of for the senior center expansion. And here we are a few a few years later, throwing that out the, out the window. No, I don't, I don't think we are. No, no, I'm just saying, that's what it sounded like to me that, that, you know, you're saying we don't have room there? Well, the whole, the whole idea of buying that was, again, to get, get some room in land's possession and share a little bit of it with the senior center. I, I'm not sure what property we're talking about anymore. Sorry. I think he's, no, I think they're talking about the, where the senior center is right now because 52 was originally bought because um, they wanted to expand the senior center and have like an acre from that property. Oh, I see. I don't, I don't know anything about that. Um, I think that was original plans. $10,000 was paid for one acre. To be um, to go so, adjacent to the senior so center. So the senior center contributed, or somebody contributed. The town did. The town. For one acre of that lot. Okay. That's yeah. somewhere probably in history. Has Mike Petrovich, has he been over to uh, Morrison Street? Has he seen that property? We grabbed him on the way up. Okay. Well, is that acre defined? Yes. Gary R. Hamlin did the, we've got, you know, the. We, the, have, a, we have a slide that goes back, not a slide. You have to choose an acre to find next to the seniors. Bill McHenry orchestrated that. Bill McHenry, I don't. Now I'm really confused because I've been led to believe by Bill and Ann that there's a deed restriction on that property. Well, the the one what happened was when the property was bought, they wanted to buy it for the senior center, and so they wanted an acre. They didn't need all the property, so we could use CPA funds to buy the rest of it. And then they spent the ten thousand dollars for one acre to go with the senior center. Okay. But I don't think it was ever really defined where that one acre is. So I think you have some flexibility there. And obviously we'd have to coordinate with that Bill with the affordable Bill housing. Bill McHenry worked with Gary and Hamlin and it's a diamond shape right to the to the right. left of it. Let me, see, let me see if I can find that drawing and share it with you. Yeah. Like it kind of looks like a shape of a house, sort of. So oh, I think oh, that if oh, I believe everything, follow everyone, everything right to the fisherman. Why can't I agree? We're going to follow each one of these nuggets. Okay. I, I just I was going to say I believe everything you're saying. So if the plan, if you're dedicating an acre, let's find out where it's supposed to be. If that works for you, it might not. It might be wet for all I know. Um, and then you know, and I guess you're going to have to work some something out with uh, the conservation restriction. Well, um, yeah, there's- I still there's, question, that gets you your parking, I guess, but it doesn't give you a much bigger building. Well, I think we're addressing the building by going up and down. 
Yeah. Trip wise with, with the architects. So one, one quick question. I don't want to deviate from too far from what we're doing here. But what does that do for the piece of property that you're trying to sell for the affordable housing? Because that that is probably not cut out of that plan for those for those people bidding on that right now, right? Well, no one's bidding on it, thank God, right now. Um, I don't know because I don't know where the acre is, Lonnie. Okay. <clears throat> so did they engineer that diamond but not record it with the registry of these? Probably not recorded. Yeah. Probably yeah, it's, just it's not recorded. Yeah. But it's still one big property. Right. I mean, the so, one thing was we didn't want the piece to be road um, front, have road frontage because we didn't want the town general budget to pay that much money for it and it would be a lot more expensive if it was right on the road so it's um inland but um you know next to the senior sunny property but i don't think anything was officially voted on exactly where that acre is so that's where i say that i you have some flexibility i think yeah so a priority let's look at that and carve oh, out an acre for you at least theoretically, and then you know what you got or don't got. I assume that all of the preliminary stuff that was done by, I'm um, sorry, what's the gentleman's name? No, Mike and Yeah. 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 The, no, the, no, Petrovich, the, the, the architect. That what we've been telling him is this is what to go with for that acre. That's what I've been seeing anyway. That's what I've been Whatever seeing. was done by Gary. So that's at least what's been in, put in the, in the forefront. Uh, to be used and if it's going to be adjusted well that's that's a good that's good to know because that may make a difference if that site was to be used right <laughs> the i wonder yeah i wasn't aware of this acre till right now so no, it, 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 you know i think well, that's maybe, what we're trying to get together jack i think that that's where you and i might have been getting confused yeah before. yeah because i was then because this, i feel like we were kind of like here and now here road with it anyway that makes more sense now to everybody so that's good when everybody's here the other piece on, on, on North Ave, um, and when we, I, I know we've talked about this in the past about moving or adjusting restrictions, and the answer is always you've got to jump through hoops. And I know I've asked in the past, I don't know if we ever cut it. What are the hoops? Like what we have to, we would have to what, go to town meeting and get it agreed upon, or you just petition the legislation from the trust because that's that's a different piece of land. That's just a conservation truck, a trust. On yeah. a piece of land that's not town owned, so I don't think that we even have to go to the town, right? Well, no, it is town owned. The front strip on um, Route 16, Route 16 North Ave. You talking about that property? Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Smith property. Smith property. Oh, okay. that that. Because um, this is well, that from, was uh, what happened um, was is John Gannett donated that property for the library, the joint library with Upton, the regional library. That didn't pass. And so nothing was done with the property and um, Gary Smith wanted to do like an agricultural area. So we went to the state. I think we had to do conservation voted, voted at a select board voted, went to the town meeting and then the legislature voted on it. And what they voted on was to donate the land back to John Gannett. And then John Gannett was going to give it to Gary Smith's nonprofit. But in order to do that, we hadn't we needed to put a conservation restriction on the property and at that point in time they he wanted to build a barn and so that's what it's written for so to change the conservation restriction you'd have to have the conservation commission um vote on it the select board have to go to town meeting and then the legislator legislature so that would be the process to to change that conservation restriction and it would be change it with if let's say you decided a lot more of it you wanted to build on then you'd have to find land somewhere else that you would protect i, I don't think that we're looking to find land more to build on I, I haven't seen um anything except the site that we walked at the other day but i'm meeting with gary on friday um and he said he's got all the plans that where, where, where all the restrictions are and I think the restriction, the, I think the only restriction we're looking to adjust would be the size of the facility, because as he said, there's already a septic design and well placement. So well, um, it's more than it's more than that, because the, the conservation restriction was um, half of it has to be open space, which would be fine for the senior center. But mm -hmm. the upper part is very agricultural based or open space. And that's the way the conservation restriction is written. And it just 
it would take a lot to do that. It, it's it it's not the property. If it does not. So, but if everybody's in agreement, right? Is it really a lot, or is it just the steps along the way? Well, I mean, you'd have to. You'd, I understand. That I mean, it's, we, it's, it, it would be hard. It would it, be hard because you're you're taking land out of a conservation restriction and and putting it into a, a place that would be used more, the larger footprint. And uh, I mean, it's possible. It's possible. It would just take time if it can be done. You know. Well, I I suggest we again we're going to look at every possibility. All right. Let's investigate that too. Right. So just sit back and say, well, it's going to be too hot. I don't buy that. I think let's, each one of us get some proof that it's going to be hot. Let's okay. We hit a brick wall here. Next. Yeah, and are the steps through the local town, or are we talking about going to? Well, oh, you still got to go to the state. Yeah, I, I, I don't see a problem with the with the local. with our local government. Yeah, approving that. The next topic we're going to hit, and Ann, I do appreciate you coming today. We're going to talk about the assessment of each property, and these are the things mm -hmm. we want to look at each one of these and spend some time a little bit here, but some individual time thinking about some pitfalls. Come back again, and then come drill down and follow those threads. And after we follow those threads, we'll say, "Here's the difficulty in A. Here's the difficulty in B. And this one makes sense. Here's the cost in A. Here's the cost in B. Here's the benefits." And then we can say, okay, here's what we present. But my goal is to do that rather quickly rather than slowly. So if we need to do a lot of hoops, to your point, Mike and Lonnie, we need and we need your team to really think about what that means. And if we say we want this property, we need to flip a conservation. I know you want to move on, but I, I'm I'm not past that last step because it doesn't make any sense to me why you were going to put in a library there. No, that's not, so what so she just explained the whole path. So mm -hmm. the library was there, it didn't get voted at town meeting. It all came back around, was was given back to the Gannis, right. and was then given to the to the yeah, to Gary right. Smith and the trust, and then the conservation restriction was put on. So but it's, it's a post library. Just to protect the land? To make an agricultural conservation restriction, correct. Um, I need to go, but if um we someone needs to talk to me more about that process, I can assist in that. Um, okay. And uh, I feel like there's something else I'm going to say. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, and the, my my big thing is I'd be happy to assist with someone. I'm not going to do the work because it took like two years to put the conservation restriction together. So to, to, and I don't want to spend a lot of time untangling it, but I would assist somebody. And um, I would just want to make sure that it was done correctly because if we don't do it correctly, then the state will not give the town grants for future projects. So that's why I'd want to be really careful, you know, in terms of like recreation, open space, all that. Just as you're leaving, Andy, the other thought I'd like you to think about, maybe come back next time, is on recreation and open space. Uh, what scope and size, what does that mean if you have to have accessible to wheelchairs and elderly people, and we had something adjoining one of these locations, yep. how much do you have in your budgets and dollars in the town that we put taxes into? Yeah. To be able to get to that pie. Yeah, Which I think that I think that that would be um, a real good use of CPA funds to do an ADA accessible trail. Yeah. So that would, I would definitely, you know, uh, pursue that. And there would okay. be funds for that. Is any one of these locations we would want to have that in there? Yep. And some of them I look at is the Bellingham Little Town Square, where there's nice little walks, chairs, benches, blacks. And then if you want to go hike in the woods and you don't need your wheelchair, you can go do that. Yeah. I don't know. I've got to go because I have people in the okay. their waiting you. room at the meeting. So I got to go. But um, email me or call me if you have any questions, okay? Thank you, Ann. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. And I'll be there in a few minutes. Okay. I got to go to that meeting too, Phil, but I can, I can hang for a bit. Okay. Uh, I think you've heard the four locations we're looking at. And Jack, I heard one, two, one, two, three, four. Yep. Uh, yeah. I'll get you or we'll find you that slide that we used from the original study of five or four years, five years ago, where that acre was carved out for the place before you go out to bid. And I know it might not. You know, be now, now that I know this, 
I don't think this is going to be that difficult. We'll find the optimal place for you guys and us. And all we need is an access road on that portion of the land. So that's what, 25 feet, 30 feet tops? It won't even be that, maybe. So, um, I'm, you know, with that, that I'm not worried about. You okay. know, this thing, uh, I'll just give you my two cents about conservation restrictions. And I have no idea. I don't even, I, I haven't had much to do with the legislators here. But the, um, the state gets squirrely about changing conservation restrictions. And that's what Ann was talking about, how you have to swap land. You've got to find land to replace what you're going to remove. And it has to be something that of value to have a restriction on. And I, I don't know where that would be, but I'm sure we could find something. That's right. Yeah, are we getting some of that with attic property? No, it's new purchase, new restriction. Oh. Right. Might not be on the way. If the restriction isn't done yet, maybe that could be a swap. Or yeah. I, I, I don't know. Just, it just keeps falling down that every time we buy land, we just tie our hands on it because we want to restrict everything that we buy. Yep. And this is where the problem comes into play. But the, the land was purchased with CPA money where there wasn't other money. I, I understand, but every single time we do it, we're buying land for more open space that just is not usable. And we're going to do this with that. We're going to do that with it. We're going to do agricultural with it. And we don't. We don't do anything with it. That piece of land up, up there has been sitting there for a hundred, I should say. <laughs> for however long it's been sitting there, half done, somebody's just starting to do a little bit with it, but there's so much. Well, the thing that's about that is, how does it known it? There's a restriction on that. I mean, that's policy. That's a policy decision. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to. The like in and the well, and town uh, meeting, maybe. Here, let's back up a little bit. Yeah. We're being tossed out, told this is hot, this is that. Well, you know what? Why, for starters, let's reach out yeah. to a couple of our. Uh, state reps, senators, and state reps, and tell them what we'd like to do, and yeah. see if they can turn us on to someone that knows all about conservation easements instead of sitting here listening to different people tell their opinion. Because that's all, all yeah. my what I'm hearing. It's all opinion. You know, nobody's coming well, with any facts. With all due respect, Mike, I've been doing this for a long time. Well, that's I, great. I, I dealt with, with, I've dealt with, I've dealt with 20, uh, 30, I maybe 40 conservation restrictions. But okay. yes, yes, I think, but I, I don't think you're there yet. You know what I would do? I don't know quite how to do it, but you know, you need like a spreadsheet or something and what's important and what's where the impediments is for Perfect. each site. That's What's the pros? What's the cons? I think I emailed you that. Then we're putting together. Yeah, that's what, that's oh, good. It's in that and then that will document, and you'll see it in writing. You know. Yeah, I think um, that's right. We're we're on that one, Jack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, and if you look at the next topic, I handed this out, but you all have this electronic as well. And what it is, it's a two page document for each site, which I can convert to a spreadsheet, but it's too difficult to display it in other way. It also has a black and white rendition of the map with the dot where the location is. I wanted to talk about this a little bit. I don't think we're going to solve this necessarily in this meeting, but it's worth a few words. But I, I think there's some independent thought or colleagues you may want to speak to as well. Can I, can I ask a question? Um, it was during the discussion of the acre next to the senior center, and that we purchased it, and, and people don't know exact lines and all this, but then they're throwing out wetlands. Um, why would we even remotely think of purchasing an acre of wetlands? <laughs> it was a it was, it was a I don't think it was a package. Package. I, I think so, you, You're absolutely right. That's what you, what you would think. It gets wet really quick, but there's still room to use. There's room to use based on the and then the wet goes this way and then down. So right. it's it, it gets away. It's 
you can see it when you, if you look out the back of the, of the side of the senior center there. It's definitely wet there. There's a stream that comes across in between Kimball's as a whole, between Kimball's house and what was you know, Kimball's sand. That that there's a, a river right there that comes through and then passes down and goes back around the back. But it, it turns away and then comes and then loops back into the into Money Road. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't know either. I don't, we didn't we didn't we didn't the, the acre that was used for the senior center wasn't. I, I just thought that it was a little bit that wetlands anyway. I, mean, I, I think that triangle, if I remember seeing that, was dry. The wetlands were right. Diamond. Diamond, whatever. So, Amy, was that acre included when the original schematics were done for the study a couple of years ago? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. So that was already included with the plans for the park. Yes. Yes. That was the original plan. 18 or 16 or? It's 14 it was 18. Well, a long time ago. But anyway, I'm all the kind of suggestions. I just wanted to try to throw together categories that we should consider all. Very nice. Yeah. This is and very helpful. Pros and cons. I'd like to say rating. And this should be some passion and personal passion. A general observation, I think visibility is very important in the site. So I rate anything on properties and Invisible and bring Morrissey to me personally, as I wouldn't send my mother there because the way it looks right now, but it's not visible. I think the signs in front of today's center are very good because people know what's going to happen. It reminds me that, oh, I'm working that detail next week, or I'm doing this. And it's a constant reminder the traffic flow shows a vibrant community. And if you bury it somewhere, you're not going to see that anymore. I'm kind of like Jack on that point. But then if you take a look at the other locations, Chief, you had some points about Providence in the current location. Amy, you had some points about the location on North Avenue with traffic. And we all have some feelings that are, are mixed, but I think we need to kind of categorize those, think about those, debate them we can. I'm open to that as well. But I really want to then try to pull this data together and come up with a spreadsheet that says, okay, if I look at this and look at that, Lonnie brought up some good points. Money drives this town like anybody drives own personal things. We talked about it last week. The property that uh, by North Avenue and Oakdale Street, uh, they're talking about potentially throwing in some dollars into that bus uh, And then if you look at Morrison, there's potentially value in the building, the shell, even if it was gutted and rebuilt. There might be you know, half a million dollars worth of construction that's reuse, reusable. So those are things that need to be factored in our decisions as well. Because we have the responsibility to go back to the town saying, after considering all of these categories and more, this is the right decision for the town, most cost effective and the best for the community we're trying to serve. Bill, I don't mean to interrupt, but I have to leave. So you don't need me, right? You're good. I have okay, a quick update about 50. 50 or 60, whatever that is. 52. Um, the, the latest is we did get bids in. We um, chose Garrier and Han mm -hmm. Halden, I could mispronounce that, to do the access. And we abandoned the septic system. It was too expensive. And um, environmental tech we picked for the directional drilling. Not to do it, but to permit it. Um, and I'm actually going to CPA now to talk about that. I and then if CPA um, approves it, then we'll uh, hire them and have that hopefully done by December and go to the Conscom in November. Is that's the game plan? If you would uh, keep in mind the acre beside the casino center, absolutely one thousand percent. So if you're looking at once, once we figure out where it is, um, and um, as far as the um, the water and sewer study, we did get permission from conservation to do two sites: one on uh, Providence Street, and then the one behind the DPW. And um, we just we need to get a hold of John Dudley. He was on vacation until tomorrow, so. 
I'm going to talk to John to make sure he's okay with what we're doing and et cetera, et cetera. So that might happen within a couple of weeks. Again, I just throw out there leveraging it anyway, and we could use it for the current facility as they look and poke around. Yep. Because we'll need, a, we need a, our current well is not the code. We know that, so we're going to need to consider a new well. We know that our septic field drainage, for what are the, I don't know, the details, acreage. Pitching field. Pitching fields, we need more of that. So as you dabble with that property there and bringing in engineering, Keep in mind, tell them for the have that have that in their mind. You're always on my mind, Phil. I want to make sure I'm not forgotten on a chart where it doesn't get recorded somewhere. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the next meeting. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. I'm sorry, but you know, if I go through these things, I, I don't know if there's other topics or if you want to spend time can, on this. Can you explain a little bit about some of them legal, for example? Legal. The reason I threw legal in there is that we have a a trust on the North North Avenue okay. and Hopedale Street property. I put a trust together for my family. That's a little trust. It's not a big trust. It took me forever to get that done. So any kind of activity when we get involved with legal, my concern is impact the schedule on time and the legal process. So I mean, I raise that concern. We have legal issues anywhere else? I don't know. But maybe somebody does continue. I have, a, I have a question about um, so you have some suggested ratings, so low and high. Were you imagining we put numbers in the pros and the cons for like like if we think it's a big pro, it gets a five, and if we think it's a big con, it gets a five in the con category? Is that half yeah, what you're imagining? Yeah, that's right. Okay. What was that for? I, was thinking, was for I don't know what you had. I think each one of them should be a separate item. No, pro so, is not. So the rate is the rating. So the rating is sort of just our impression one to five, like yeah. where five is positive and one is negative. Yeah. And maybe a pro is on one line of the comments. Okay, right? and like we were imagining those would be like comments on the pros and cons. Yes. Like, like this is. You know, it's kind sort of okay. traffic. Uh, school can, right. school, school lets out in the north, whatever the location that is. Okay. Uh, school lets out, the buses are there, we got to reschedule the school. The things at the center because they can't get in and out. Uh, building and lot. Uh, my thoughts are just a lot around the wetlands, water expansions. I'm worried about that in almost every one of these locations. Probably not North Avenue, first one. I think either one of the North Avenue locations would well, not be sure. worried about septic or well. You're probably right. There's already a septic design for. Yeah. Did, did you want to talk to you? Just before I forget again, did you find out anything? Gary Ho. I'm meeting with your friend. He has everything. I talked to him today, tried to, but he was at a car show yeah. and until 7 tonight, so 7 30. So. You know how large a facility he was looking to build? 26 minutes would be there. Visualize that for me, like, uh, and to our senior center is 600 square feet of the garage. It's the current size oh. of the senior center. The current, the current size is the center. So that wouldn't gain us anything. Well, no, we can, but yeah. I mean, if if yeah, somebody yeah, were now, if right. somebody were going to do the the work to undo the conservation restriction, I think I think it could be changed. That's what it sounds like we, to yeah, me. We need it's to find like, out exactly what that. Right, and is. but if somebody has the the motivation and is willing to do that legwork, like we just don't know, we don't yet know what that legwork is, and we don't know the time, but some, but, but we could do that. Because Somebody could need to see it too. The 2600 square feet doesn't make sense. What if you had a one floor 2600 square feet or two panels there? Like yes. you're affecting a different floor footprint, you know, half the size. So is it is it land wise? I don't know. I, I, when I get with Gary, let me see what we have. Okay. Yeah. Let's have legal. Yes, legal. Yes. legal yeah, yeah, so let's go one day and debate. What's, what's our process right. and walk us through the process and I mean I'm willing to do the legwork if it's the right site to walk through with legal with it I can't do it on my own I don't I'm not I'm not I don't have the, the, the intelligence to do that but working with legal and, and have, being able to contact the legislatures that we know and, and have met over the years and it's it's if it's if there's a process I'm willing to walk through the process with that as long as legal's there to help. I think each one of these we're going to find there's going to be some additional investigation. Right. 
before we close. Can I also go? Oh, yeah, it's not, it's not going to be easy. No, because we can. Well, what like I said, I'm not ready to give up just because someone says, oh, it's high. But I'm right. more fast. And I, don't, I don't think Anne was saying that. I think Anne just knows it takes. It takes some time and it takes some energy. And I, she said that it took two years to get the conservation restriction that's there. So, like, I don't know, you know, if it'll be equal time to reverse it. You know, it's we don't know. We have no idea. But these are, these are questions, and, and it's worth investigating. I think, especially if you know there are donations that go along with this site, that that could be worth the wait. It could be worth waiting another six months, you know, over another property if we get more out of it. For right. example, and I think that if as long as we know that. Okay, here's the process, we're ready, it's ready to go. We get the town meeting, everything's approved. Now we still got that whole time frame before we even start to build. Right. In that time frame, we'll push. Like that's where the push right. comes in. Really push high. Right. So that we'll meet our time frame still. Um if we can potentially but if right, it's a few right. months, I think you're right. Right. I mean it's and this is where like working through all of this will be really beneficial. And I think this is what's gonna matter when we go. To town meeting is, you know, have all of the answers to these questions. People ask good questions at town meeting, so That's we'll, nice. and the we'll other, have investigated all of these. The other hope I would say too is that we have a good cross communication with the other department. Right. That we're all working in the same way. And I, and I, I mean that because I think a lot of your point, if we see we're that all here's what you got to do. I'm a new guy in this town. I'm a new guy in the federal government. I support the feds for understand the problem. That's how it works for me. But you can do things quickly too. It's a big process. You do and you get the right people lined up, you can, you can get it done. You have to know what the hurdles are. You have right. to you have to have them clearly in your mind and then go one after another after another. You just try to but you can do it you can multitask you don't right. have to just do it. You don't have to do it. You see you built the building before I I'm coming in the right. screen. Let me tell you, the, the actual building of the building is the easiest. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what we do, it's what we're doing now. Right. It's it's trying to get the facts and formulating a plan is the hardest part. Whether it's building a senior center, mm -hmm. a sewer treatment plant, and an our church, it's what we're doing now is the most important. Yes. So we're trying to make it as visible as possible to everybody. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. That's that's going to be in our favor. The more, right. the more we Transparency. share what we're doing here with, with the citizens of the town. Because yep. they're going to realize, boy, there's a lot of work going into that. Yeah, I don't, you know, I threw this out there as a strong That's something that's a better idea. I, I, mean, I think this is a great way to get us all to think about these questions and to put them, you know, put them in writing so like we can see where we all stand because I think I can see pros and cons to all of the all sites, right. all four of them. I mean, I know I have I have my own sort of preferred sites. Like, I don't I think it might be interesting if everybody ranked the sites also, like maybe I'm, I'd just be kind of curious, like. Yeah, it's funny about you mentioned that the general observation. Mm -hmm. I was going to first ask the team, what's your gut tell you right now? Right. Like. Yeah, like which is right. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm not. I don't think. I think it would be helpful if we all worked through this before we shared that information. But I know I have my opinions. I know I'm sure you have yours. We all have our like, our list, and we may find that you know, they're fairly similar. <laughs> like when we started, you know, years ago, we had um, over ten architects that were interested in doing the initial design, and then. Of those 10, seven came in with designs for us. Mm -hmm. And we had to do just that. We had to rank the designs. And then that's how we ended up with um, Catlin and uh, Mike. That's your pick. So um, when I, I did call, um, I did reach out to uh, Greg Carell. Mm -hmm. Their business is closed. He did say he was going to go and look and see if he had anything. However, I'm really not expecting a call back. Because so. he. Or? Yes, yeah. yes, the, 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 yeah. the police station yeah. So he did, he actually pocket dialed me and then I called <laughs> him back and he said, oh, I pocket dialed you. But he didn't say, I'm checking on that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go with it, I'm not going to get anything. Oh, okay. But it was nice to talk to him again. <laughs> so I, I, I guess my ask to the team here is to 
take a look at each one of these, put, put some sock behind it, put the sock, bring it back in two weeks, and then kind of walk through them one by one. And stuff. I mean, this is the uh, time to be great. But I'd like to have this closed down so that we can start to begin. And by checking it, you know, he, he took a view of these things. Ronnie is trying to get some information. We got him the divorce and stuff because uh, Chief, you provided that to me, so I got it down. So yep. we got that piece. They have an idea of what's going on in the current location, but the two other ones, if they can get a better handle. And, um, but you know, I said we're going to do hard work and then we're going to have fun. This is the hard work. Yes. Rock the block is on here. That's fine. Yes, rock the block is the next item we're going to talk about. That is going to be. Hey, uh, okay. what well, are you doing? So, what will happen to you? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk about a uh, COA tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to we have um, one uh, gave Shelby uh, information and uh, she contacted me. Good. I have the forms to be filled out tomorrow for COA. Okay, good. And we have our tent to go up. We'll have to make arrangements to get it up there and to take it down. Mm -hmm. Any help you need? Uh, to help. If you get it there, we'll be well. There'll be yeah, plenty people on the site to, to help us. Yeah. 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 As long as you can get it there, we'll, we'll help you. I've got three posters we'll review tomorrow. Yep. That's his other hand now. Yep. Some about the center where our moniker is making a difference in the lives of others. I think yep. Amy brought that out. It was a great thing that she used once before. Yeah, we had bags that we gave out. Yeah. They look like that, making a difference in the lives of others. I had a nice touch from this. So we're going to talk about some of the activities we do. Because we do communicate, educate all these people. Page two poster. Mm -hmm. Talks about timeline uh, in general sense. Oh, you know, and basically, uh, yeah, we're gonna have that on a poster as well. How big of a poster is gonna be? Twenty-four by thirty-six. We can go bigger if we want to. I'm gonna go no, down to because we only have a ten foot by ten foot. You know, we have we don't want to seem like we're like this. I'm saying three posters on. On the on eagles, we can even put them off the side. You know what you can do? Um, a tripod. I think I'm going to spread them out. I want this one to okay. talk to each one. Uh, but anyway, there's an interesting thing here. And we'll, as the board, the COA is probably just volunteers to be there all day long. Yes. And I'm sure we will. But if you guys are around, stop in and say hello and land the booth. But the key message is to get through the timeline. Because we're looking at guys. We're going to come to you in May. We're going to update you in the goal. Bring it to them. Our goal is to be able to do this. Yep. And then we kind of highlight who's on it. We're looking for volunteers. We're a volunteer sign up sheet to help us. Communication spark is critical. Uh, we're starting to get a little traction with that uh, amongst the COA. And then the final one is just kind of a recap of the services we provide. There'll be a poster on it. Because what do you guys do? And then we'll have a trifold, we'll hand it out that highlights all this again so we can put it in a bag and walk away with it. Okay. And we're going to have a raffle for a. Uh, a mom. A mom. Yeah. mom. Trifold mom. Yeah. No, you have to buy tickets. Just put your name in. Yeah. Only that it is beautiful. That'll be our first plan of communication. We'll try to lift pieces of that and take it to other things like wine clubs, wine presentations, brothers of the rush. Yeah. Police station meetings. I'm still waiting to see if that if our well, touch keys come in. I know. Okay. Uh, your point's well taken, Mike, uh, about getting the state reps and connection. I I think that's that's a, a key element right there. And again, all we got to do is remind them that hey, you know, seniors vote. They do. They usually come to our. Seeing the celebration in September, of course. They usually come. Yes, Murray's responded. Um, Ryan, that mm -hmm. still still in the ballots. I invited him back in June, and I think our congressman. I think he's coming. Is it his first time? Was Klausman or what? Klausman. I forget. I can't pronounce his name. Does Jack have the interface? With the state people that can help us out for news checking, some kind so, of funding. Who does that? Our board, board and the. I mean, we can check with 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 Pat and Murray, but I feel like, I feel like we've gone this road before, and it's it, just an empty road. But we can ask you. Sometimes we'll do it here. What's the event in September? What's the date? This is Sunday, seventeenth. Sunday, the seventeenth. Yes, we did give us. Oh, was that like the senior school? Yeah, the yes. That's where you were the last time. I think you were 17 or something. 730? 730? 1130? 1130? 1130? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 One of them coming up. And maybe 
Uh, Elena, if you could uh, check with the select board at the meeting and start to raise it. We would like to have some direct communication right. to sure. sort through the processing right. procedures to get. Yeah. I mean, I can ask that we get that on the yes. agenda, it, not for tomorrow night, but for the next time. So I think we've, uh, yeah, we've talked about it, but I think, yeah, we keep we keep talking about it, and uh, it's a good thing to keep talking about it. Maybe someone will get so tired of hearing about it, they'll just give us money. <laughs> you had mentioned that we should send notices. I was, I was, yeah, we should I was yeah, inviting the correspondence just yeah. because it's a nice spot at the beginning of the meeting, like, mm -hmm. um, there's a point right here on this first page here. Meet the building committee. And as I read down it, my name happens to be first because it's alphabetical. How was that? No, no. I also hate it. <laughs> <laughs> and I put an eye on it this time instead of losing the eye. I see Mike Garden, so I would. And I see Mike Moroni, so I no, it's oh, supposed to be removed. Oh, oh yeah. it's supposed to be yeah. gone. Yeah. Oh, really? gone, yeah. Oh, good catch. Thank you. Yeah. I get an old file that I pull up sometimes. It's copy and paste. Yeah. We haven't done it. Mike is not. I'll correct both of those. And isn't Mike Goddard an alternate? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's. Are you on there? Yeah, I'm on here. Oh, yeah. I'm second alphabetically. Oh. <laughs> Should I try and keep everybody? Oh, yeah. Huh? Everybody's in order. We're trying. Hey, if you guys see anything, I'm going to Staples tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. So if you send me a note, <laughs> give me a call. And we're going to review it tomorrow afternoon. See you later. Okay. Actually, I think we can keep covering communications. We, do, we're, we still need to get that better. Is, it, is anybody going to um, do research on that conservation restriction reversal? Is anyone like actively planning to? You, to well, I, think we start, I think we start with that. I own and, and I want to do it because I just want to. Right. I've asked yeah. so many times. Yeah, I mean, I think it's worth knowing. Well. Meeting at the city. Right, meeting architect. Yeah. Isn't it about 13 to get here? Yeah, and I'll have to bring it to you because you'll have to do okay to talk to council about the orcs. Right. Or I'll have you guys with the council and council piece. Right. Just tell me what I have to do next. So you got three. I'll work with you. If we have three, you guys are three. We got to come. Wayne is all excited to figure out how to reverse council. I mean, we should know. You know, you want to know the answer, and like, yeah. We should hear from the haunted house. If there's, if there's, uh, and then we be reverse. You just want to edit. I know we're not going to reverse, but and 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 we got to find out. I think there's got to be is a reversal in a sense. Like I don't think there's a one or the other. But there's got to be a mechanism. It's not, it's not cast in concrete. There's got to be a mechanism. A different and then to the different priorities to an amendment to it or something. That, 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 we'll figure it out. It's not like you want to list it and get rid of it because then if no one's worried about getting no, rid of it or replacing it, well, we're not getting rid of it, you just want to adjust right. it. And I mean, well, so I mean, I guess I find myself wondering well, so we've got this the property on 16 and North Avenue. If mm -hmm. there's like a small part of that could, that could be like we can you, add that, to that. So they could be conservation land that is it that you know, if it's a small enough. It's, and you know, you know, it can still be valuable, but like that is a valuable piece of property where it is. So like, what's so, that? What, what I would say, and I think when we talked about this before, that I don't want to drag this on any longer. We talked about that front piece of it's a long Route 16 because the conservation restriction comes down Muddy Brook and then shoots up Route 16, 200 foot back to the to the 200 foot buffer. So it's a 200 mm -hmm. foot. Piece and then there's, there's some access allowed. There's two access through the conservation restriction. At least that's what was roughly on the plan. And we were always saying, well, let's swap that to the back because we're going to be a buffer the residents that live there and move it closer to the road for if we were going to make it the commercial. 
So like there was always that question. And we're talking about the the 16 North Avenue. That's sick. That's yeah. 16. Yeah. So I feel like you know, I feel like we need to name each property. Call. Like sorry, there's so the Smith yeah, property, yeah, yeah. In, which is Hopefield Street. So if we didn't have to swap, we could also take that and, and extend it up that buffer line mm -hmm. and buffer the the residents that live in, along there. We'll try to just help that a little bit. Right. Anyway. All thoughts. We're yeah. going to work to be done. I'm sure we're skipping some items, but I think the evaluation of studies, getting the concept, getting our architect moving, he's moving along. By the way, it's the 13th next week. Next week. Wait, mm -hmm. oh, we're meeting also next week. No, no. no. Oh, okay. We have, you can, you're welcome to, because someone wants to stop in. Oh, oh, have, oh, the one at the senior We're going to have the senior okay. center architect there, drilling down how many people, how many take, you know, piece by piece. Make sure we understand square footage requirements. No matter where we put it, it'll be able to go. And what's that good. setting? You got a good handle on it. I want to focus one more time. Yep. Yep. And so that's so you're welcome to join. It's the 13th of the 19th. It's at 130. Uh, but it's not required. I'll do it two weeks from now again. I can't make Tuesday, so that's a month and a half. So I might be able to dial in, but I've uh pitched it long. Black so football, so to the kids. Yeah. So um, I can probably dial in in between. Yeah, I can do that. Because it makes it don't wait till like the middle of October like Tuesday games. Yeah, like some of them are five thirty, six thirty. So I'm gonna be in the car and I can dial in and talk to him in the air. Okay. So will we be the nineteenth? Is that correct? Uh, yes, that's six thirty. So, are you moving at? 19th, 6.30. Tuesday. 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 Stay keeping on Tuesday. And then, uh, they do, I think, Yeah. Just yeah. pick a time that's good, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Okay, so I can find it. What? I keep reminding us, oh, worry about that. <laughs> what I get paid for. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Thanks, Tom, for coming in. Tom, thanks. Thank you, Tom. No, I'm good right now, folks. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Are you next door? What's that? Are you next door? Are you next door with the cubicles in the building department? No. I look like one of the cubicles. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Work on the work on the audio, Lonnie. I'm working on it. Good night. Good night. I know it's one of those. You can go the guy right there. Okay. Uh, again, just to reiterate, when we leave and we meet again, nothing bothers me more than we have negative reactions. Well, it's going to be, well, we can't do this. Well, you know, 